Hello grade 8 um, In this video I'm going to solve our second review worksheet And I'm going to start by the first exercise So in this exercise we have ABC, it's any triangle And please pay attention to this word When they ask you to draw any triangle It cannot be a special triangle So you cannot draw it uh, isosceles or equilateral or right you cannot okay so as you can see here in this triangle it's not isosceles or equilateral or right so it's any triangle uh, we have to draw ax which is perpendicular to bc let me first of all name this triangle so this is a b c okay so we have to draw ax which is perpendicular to bc so you have to use the set square of course here i don't have a set square but you have to know that it's perpendicular to, to in order to make it perfect you should use the set square now uh, we're going to draw by which is perpendicular to bc so it's of course perpendicular at b as you can see here okay now we need to draw um cz which is parallel to AX. So let me hear it's BY and this is AX. We need to draw a line which is parallel to AX and it's passing through C. So this is CZ. Of course, you're going to draw it better than me. So here we have CZ, it's parallel to AX. Great. Now, um, we need to justify the following. You have to prove that AX is parallel to BY. Of course, you should remember the properties that we have learned in class. So first of all, why AX and BY are parallel? Because as you can see, both of them are perpendicular to BC. So AX and BY, both of them are perpendicular to BC. So definitely they are parallel because if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are parallel. But how do I write this? I start AX, it's perpendicular to BC. Who told us? It's given. Okay, now BY, it's also perpendicular to BC. Who said this? It's also given. So from those two statements, I can tell that AX is parallel to BY and we need to write the property if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are then they are parallel okay i wish that it's clear now let us go for question number b so here now i can tell that those two lines are parallel we need to prove that cz and by are parallel well you know that cz and ax are parallel this is given and now we just prove that ax and by are also parallel so I can tell that CZ and BY are parallel because the property says if two lines are parallel, then the parallel to the first is parallel to the second. But how do I write this? You know that CZ, it's already parallel to AX. Who said this? This is given. And we already proved that AX is parallel to BY. This is proved because we just proved this. Okay? Now, I can tell that CZ is parallel to BY. And we need to write the property. If two lines are parallel, then the parallel to the first is parallel to the second. Okay? I wish that it's clear for you. Now we need to continue. The, the rest I'm going to just do them orally uh, we, because you know now how to write them. And of course you can check the whole solution in the PDF uh, solution, okay? Now we need to prove that CZ is perpendicular to BC. You've already proved or it's already given that CZ and AX are parallel. 
And if two lines are parallel, then definitely they are perpendicular to the same line. So CZ is perpendicular to BC. Now, in part D, we need to prove that AB cuts CZ. The property says if two lines are parallel, then the intersecting with the first is intersecting with the second. So since BA is intersecting with AX, then definitely it's intersecting with CZ since AX and CZ are parallel. So those are the, prop the important properties that, that you have to study because whenever you need them, you have to write them. In question number two, um, we have X, Y, and Z, T are given that they are parallel. Okay, let me just put it. X, Y, and Z, T are parallel. And we need to calculate the angles of the figure. How many angles do we have? One, two, I'm, I'm going to write them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sorry, this is nine, ten, and eleven. Eleven angles that I need to calculate. I'm not going to write them, but we are going to solve them orally. For the angle one, you know that it's, I'm going to change the color just a second, this is 180. So using supplementary angles, 180 minus 70, it's 110. Angle 2, we're going to solve it in the same way. 180 minus 60, it's 120. Now, angle 5, it's supplementary to 2. So both of them are 120. Now, 60, because 5 is 120, then 6 is 60 degrees. And um, 4, it's supplementary, it's uh, interior, alternate interior with 1. So 4 is equal to 1. Both of them are um, 110. So here you have to know something. I'm just going to summarize it in a one table. Either you're going to use supplementary angles or alternate interior or alternating interior or vertically opposite angle. Okay? I wish that you got the idea. And in question number three, this is a very easy question. Uh, we have as a given, as a given, we have AX and BC are parallel, and we need to calculate BAC. BAC, it's an angle in a, a, in a triangle. So I need to first uh, find C, then I could find BAC. How can I find C? It's very easy. Why? Because it's alternate interior with XAC. So what I'm going to write is XAC is equal to ACB is equal to 31. Why? Because they are alternating interior angles between parallel lines. So it's just enough to say that they are alternating interior angles. Okay? Now, how can I find BAC? Now I go for the triangle. So we say in triangle ABC, we've already know that BAC plus ABC plus ACB equals 180. Why? Sum of angles in a triangle. BAC, we need to find it. ABC is 67. ACB is 31 equals 180 BAC plus 67 plus 31 it's 98 and then you find BAC which is 180 minus 98 so don't forget that you have to subtract them so 180 minus 98 equals 82 degrees in question number four how can i justify that the two lines x y and z t are parallel so we need to prove that x y and z t are parallel it's very easy so whenever you see two parallel lines with uh, um, intersecting lines you should think of alternating interior angles 
So if you just prove that we have alternate rotating angles, then the lines are definitely parallel. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to, of course, there are many ways to solve this exercise, but I'm going to solve it, solve it in this way. We know that ZBA plus ABT is equal to 180. Why? Because they are supplementary angles. So 140 plus ABT equals 180. So ABT is equal to 40 degrees. So this is 40 degrees. Well, as you can see here, we have alternating interior angles. So the two lines are definitely parallel. Okay, so in this question, we need to calculate the angles of the figure, then prove that FH is parallel to MD. First of all, um, the, the angles of the figure. In triangle, I'm going to start. How do you write? In, sorry, just a second, okay. In triangle HAF. Okay, what do we have? First of all, this is a right isosceles triangle. So HAF, angle HAF, it's 90, and FHA equals FAH, both of them are 45 degrees because this is a right isosceles triangle. The same thing in triangle MAB, okay? So we have 90 and 45 with 45. Now, how can I prove that those two lines are parallel? Well, it's very easy. It's one of the properties that you have learned. HF, it's already perpendicular to FM. And BM, it's already perpendicular to MF. So, HF is parallel to BM. And what's the property? If two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then they are 